So now that we've talked about the 3D printer, let's talk a little bit about how it makes the 3D prints, the components of a 3D print. I have here a 3D print that I stopped midway. Had I allowed it to go through, it would have ended up looking like this handsome fellow. I stopped it so that I could show you the various parts of a 3D print. Prints are made in layers. So the first layer goes down and then the next layer goes on top of it and the next layer goes on top of it. And the first thing that's drawn on the layer most of the time is the outline or, or shell as it's sometimes called. You can tell your 3D printer, usually through your slicer, how many shells to put around there. More shells makes a thicker, more solid, more rigid print. Fewer shells saves material and time, but makes them less rigid and lighter weight. Then after the shells are, are drawn in, it draws in the infill. If you look closely at this, you'll notice that it's mostly hollow on the inside. And it's just a couple of shells on the outside that are solid. That's common for most 3D prints. You can increase the infill and make them more solid, but why waste the material and the time doing that if a hollow print will do the job just as well? Of course, for the bottom couple of layers, it draws them completely solid and for the top as well. But in the middle, it just kind of fills it in. And this infill is there purely so that when you get to the top, it will have something to put on, to, something to put it on. Now, I do need to talk a little bit about overhangs and support because, like I said, these prints are done layer by layer, one on top of the other. And if those layers don't have anything underneath them, like, for example, this print, this model right here, when it printed layer by layer, there were parts like uh, the arm right here or the base of the staff that when it got to, there was nothing underneath it. And it, the 3D printer can't print in thin air. So in order to make this print possible, it printed like this. Notice how it built up this this lattice work, this structure of material that went up to the part that it needed support on. And we call this support. This in particular is called breakaway support because it's made out of the same material as you're printing in. And so the goal is to make it as, as thin and fragile as possible, not too fragile, but as fragile as you can get away with so that when the print is done, it can be broken away and leave you with a print that looks good. However, some parts, some 3D prints don't require any support. A clever 3D designer can make a model so that when it prints on an FFF 3D printer, it doesn't need any supports. Just adjust the pose or something like that. I thank you very much for watching this. As always, safety first, and I'll see you next time.